The origin of Captain America is inherently in World War II. In the original comic book, one of the ways that he got around was on a military motorcycle. So we wanted motorcycles done in a way that feel period appropriate. Bringing that to life was one of the fun challenges of the movie. It really is something that we're excited about. You really feel like you're stepping into 1940 and it's beautiful. It's amazing how detailed the motorcycles look. Marvel Studios was hoping that Harley Davidson could provide motorcycles, but specifically ones that look like WLA military bikes. And WLA was like the civilian model with the A meaning army. We're looking at reference material that we have. We're looking at bikes that really do exist, trying to stay true to the period, but giving the Marvel Universe spin to it. And I think we've been very successful. It is always the challenge of our movies to bring that two-dimensional image to life in a three-dimensional film. Not only Captain America, but the iconic shield, the motorcycle, everything that you want to see in a Captain America movie, we're bringing to life in a way that I think you will believe it when you see it in live action. Joe Johnston was involved before any work had started on the bikes, because he had been very specific about the fact that he wanted these motorcycles to look as much like authentic World War II Harley-Davidson motorcycles. The 40s is such a toy box of vehicles and fashion and architecture, and it seemed like a great opportunity. All the motorcycles have been amazing, and I love them. I think they're fantastic. I come to this set and I get really excited. The audience says we'll see some amazing jaw-dropping action sequences. It's going to be bright, and it's going to be action-packed, and it's going to have cutting-edge technology to it in a way that we're very excited about. I think it works. <laughs>